this is Sonia from my happy space welcome back at my channel today I'm going to do my setup for my new free devotional which is called bowls of incense if you've missed my video where um, I tell you how you can pick up this free devotional I usually give once or twice a year a free devotional out with ephemera and everything so people can make use of it and um, just enjoy and we can create a community so you're very welcome to pick that up I'll link the video up here below but it's just my previous video so you're very welcome to pick that up. But before I can do, do my setup video, I've just put my little booklet and my previous video together. We're going to start this devotional on the 6th of June. Sorry that I'm taking a little bit of time to doing it, but I've got some things, commitments at church. Um, you can actually pray for me. I'm going to do a verse memory workshop at our church to sort of inspire ladies and tell them how to do memory verse keeping or scripture memory. So I'm preparing for that at the moment. So... I'm just putting sort of this little bit on hold. So we're going to start on the 6th of June, which is a Monday. A Monday evening, my family is all out of the house. My kids go to Bible study. Um, so then it's easier for me because my craft room is connected to my kitchen and I need to make use of the home when there's nobody in the home. So that's the time I can do it. Obviously, it will for me be a Monday evening. It will be for you, I think, around 10 or 12 o'clock during daytime. Unfortunately, that's the only time I can do it. But you can always watch the live later. But before we continue with that, I'm going to show you how to download the the printable because lots of not lots but a few of you have said to me oh i never got the document of the shadow girls one of that's one of the ephemera pieces or i could just download the um the devotional and you can easily miss that there is free documents that you need to download so let me show you so unfortunately it's not the best um setup because obviously my light is going to shine so this is my video I don't know if you can see off the devotional. So obviously you go to the description box. It's going to look everywhere different, but it's usually that small little arrow there, if you can see. So you click there. So that gives you the options. Then you go to buy me a coffee. Can you press there? Okay, I just need to start open by, by Chrome. So yours will probably automatically open. Okay, so when you get to my page, don't think, oh, where is it? Just scroll up. There you see. So you see the two documents. Now, do you see there's a little arrow there? You just need to press that arrow and that will go onto the third document. So you see this. So there is a devotional ephemera, ephemera 2, and bowls of incense. I don't know. It seems to me I, don't, I loaded it two times, but it doesn't matter really. You just need ephemera 1, ephemera 2, and bowls of incense. So basically, what you need to do is for everyone, you need to download it. So you just press there. You say get it you put as i said you put zero you have to put zero you have to put something in there um so you put zero in there you put your name and your email address you say pay because obviously you won't pay it will be zero and then it gets to the download page you just download it and then you just need to go back so you know you go back and now you get the second document and then you get the third document so you need three documents so that is how you download it so hopefully that clears things off main thing is obviously just scroll up just get the documents and then click there to get to all three documents and then you just go click on there i've got uh i've put it on my community um tab also of my, of my youtube channel so to sh the pictures how to do it and i've also saved it as a story on my instagram so hopefully that would help you okay but let's get into my setup so what I've decided, I was inspired. When I when I saw this, I thought to myself, that would look actually so nice if you can, can frame these hands with a circle. So I've got this nesting dies, um, which I bought a while ago. So lots of you guys have that. But if you don't have it, just use a bowl. You can just turn a bowl upside down, trace it, and cut it out. That will just... I sometimes think after getting out your die cut machine and setting up everything, I wonder if it's not just quicker to cut it out yourself. But obviously, you get obviously a more cleaner and perfect cut. So I'm going to take my use of the ephemera pieces and I am going to make circles and I'm going to make a, a circle ring tag binder. So I'm going to get my, my die cut machine. Okay, so I've got my die cut there, my patent paper. So 
so the idea is that I'll put it on top of each other and then I'll make a little ring notebook or tag system with it so let's just try one of these so what I've decided is I, I'm just going to actually circle it with this because it's too difficult you can't you can't um, see it let me know if I'm doing something totally wrong or if you can do it a different way so I'm just going to cut that out okay I've cut all my circles out eventually um, some of the ephemera, I've got some doilies which I thought would be looking nice. So basically I am maybe first going to work on my front cover. I think I've cut this one out. Let's see which one looks the best. I like the flowers obviously. But I think I'm going to get a smaller doily. Or I can use the doily which is here or this one. see maybe I must make use this one and to a sea fruit type of thing maybe I'll do that because the other door is just now a bit too small and this door is a little bit too big so maybe what I can do is, sometimes it works like that, if I cut the doily in half and then you put it on top of each other, that works also well. Let's just move all these things away so we can actually see what's going on. Let's see. So if I put it on top of each other, and like this then we can at least see a little bit of that so I'm going to do that and I think maybe I'll put this on foam tape that's a nice thing as I said working on little mini booklets and things like that you can always put give a dimension okay let's put that on there and then I want to put the bowls of incense and there but I might actually back it up with white cardstock usually when you lift the one element on on something then it's I think it's better to put the other one flat okay so that's a cover so what we're going to do is we can just just do what I was also thinking we can do pockets so I'm going to just glue it halfway here and then we can do pockets and we can put some of that prayer cards in there. So I'm just going to make sure it's the same. So there is a pocket now there at the top. So. Okay, let's try another one. Maybe try one of ones with the with the hands the prayer hands of the bowls you don't have to make everything pockets maybe just the big ones so what we have is i've got some flowers also so maybe i can choose a flower on there I must say, um, if you follow me for a while, you know, purple's not really been one of my favorite colors, but I must say it does grow on me. But, but I prefer this type of aubergine, sort of dark, deep plum um, purple more. But obviously, I had to bring some pinks in, but pink and purple anyway goes beautifully together. And then obviously we've got the pops of yellow. Which, yeah, it's basically just on the golden bowls because that is obviously what it's talking about in Revelation. Okay, I'm definitely going to put that also on foam. Just to lift that a bit up. Okay, so obviously we can do something later on that. So that's a front cover. Here's another one. 
it's not 100% top on top of each other so but I'll, I'll sort that out later so that's that what we can do is another one of these remember to make a pocket let's put some of the doilies down here what about maybe I'll cut this pink, this pink one out so because this is cardstock I'm going to cut it in half then we can use it as a pocket so maybe we can put it sort of halfway here like this and then we can use it as a pocket so we can put a, one of these journaling cards in here but obviously but later I just want to wait till it's dry and that there definitely needs to come something on one of these flowers on here and then that can also support the journaling card so it doesn't fall out so if I put it here sort of at the bottom then I will also just glue it on this side so it almost is a double type of pocket just first take this out because not 100% dry yet okay I like how that is so I'm going to put all of them together and then we'll go on to the next bit jazzing it up a little bit and make it pretty okay so I've done all of them so that's the cover so I'm going to start putting my whole punches through so I think I'm going to just sort of do it on that side and then that is another one let's do it like that And this is another one I've done. Some of them I just kept blank. So we can always think later of what we're going to do up with that. So I'm trying to do it fairly deep. Because I don't want it obviously to go. This I just put on top of each other. So I'm going to take a, obviously a ring binder. And just pop it through. And then let's see how that's going to look. Where is the beginning now? Oh yeah. Oh, I've got it totally wrong now doesn't really matter so I'm going to do it like like this let just see so that's the top and as I said journaling cards doesn't really matter how it goes Like how that looks so here we obviously can do still something first want to see what I can do with filling up the, the pockets okay so I've cut all the things out so let's see now what we can add to it I've got one of these little shadow girls which will maybe fit on there what I'll do is I'll cut her a bit smaller that then here we've got a flower as I said here I can do some more journaling on this is that there's a tag there's a journaling card in there there's a journaling card there so what shall we put to there prayers maybe I'm just going to use this yeah we can definitely put a flower the other thing what I wanted to do is to see if I can put some buttons on let's see if we can put some buttons on okay. will a button be nice here at the front no, it's too shiny. It's quite a nice button. But I think it's going to get lost here. So 
so maybe just put a small little button there maybe a small little or button there in the middle that's cute like that obviously you have to wait till it dries maybe next to here like a tailor i think that just needs something cute there okay i've cut all my buttons down i will give you a flip through in a minute so what i want to do now is i want to make a little dangle on the side here so i've got purple floss or embroidery floss what i also have is i have this ribbon just do that and then i've got this ribbon also another purple one maybe i'll put it make it a bow this okay i've made another of these threads because um the other one looked a bit flimsy so pink purple button a crown a purple button and one of these tassels and a pink button a butterfly and one of these tassels then obviously you've made the two bows this is the front cover with the little button put here button journaling card a tag place for a journaling cards two of them put a little button there journaling card a tuck spot there and I put a little button also there this little fun swing tag with a button there also I've put, in, put their arm in and I've put a button there too. And here's a little tuck spot. And I've put a little button there too. And there at the back is another little tuck spot. I've decided not to do the tuck spot there. It's just too much. So this is my little ring bound tag system. Which I love how it turned out. So obviously I will do some journaling there, maybe write all the scriptures, the verses um, at the back of the devotion, all the verses which um, is in the devotional about the scriptures and here at the back also. So maybe I'll write that all out to remind me and do some journaling and obviously I'll do my study in here, just my fun journaling in there and then we'll do definitely some Bible pages together on our live or on YouTube. I will, I've got already exciting plans for our first live. I'll release a free printable. It's just something basic, but it's going to be a fun thing we can all do together during our life. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, as I said, if you haven't picked up this devotional, please do it free of charge. Join the Facebook group. Um, all you need to do is you need to subscribe to my channel, like and comment in my previous video. And go to the buy me a coffee as I showed you in the beginning and just download it, put it to zero so you don't pay for it. Enjoy it and I hope it's a blessing to you. I'm excited about this devotion. I really enjoyed writing it. I've learned a lot and I think we cannot talk enough about prayer. Yeah, have a lovely week and I will talk to you, God willing, on Friday. Bye-bye.